back at beautiful St. Josephine Restaurant on Theater Row with another edition of Play by Play, our show about shows. I'm joined by my friend and New York One colleague, Frank DeLilla, and the most protean actor on Broadway, Jefferson <laughs> Mays, who won a Tony Award for I Am My Own Wife and now is back on Broadway playing eight roles in A Gentleman's Guide to Love and Murder. So it's a little bit of a come down. 37 roles in I Am 37, I yes, yes, I'd say so. It's a nice leisurely <laughs> evening for me. I barely break a sweat. No, that's not true. Actually, uh, in I Am My Own Wife, I was wearing one costume, and this evening is full of costume changes. It's more athletic, I think, than artistic <laughs> sometimes, my performance. A lot of the true drama happens in the dark, out of <laughs> sight. I'm set upon by four muscular and determined women who tear my clothes off, put me in another, another outfit, and then bodily uh, thrust me back out on stage. This show obviously opened first at Hartford and then of course went on to play the Old Globe prior to coming to Broadway. Mm -hmm. You know, why did you want to sign up for this piece? What spoke to you about this piece? I loved it. It's one of those rare instances where you sit down and read something and laugh out loud, you mm -hmm. know, by yourself at the kitchen table. Mm -hmm. And that I did. And it's based on uh, Roy Horniman's uh, novel, Israel Rank, which was also the source material for an Ealing Studio mm -hmm. comedy starring Alec Guinness uh, called Kind Hearts and Coronets. Watching clips on YouTube, I haven't seen it yet, it reminded me a little bit of the mystery of Edwin Drood, some Gilbert and Sullivan in there. Jefferson, talk about the music for this piece. The music is simply glorious, and maybe I'm a bit of a Philistine, but I like to go and see a musical and come out humming the tunes, and uh, these tunes I cannot get out of my head. Um, and they're beautiful, and they, as you already referenced, they're drawn from, it's kind of a love letter, I suppose, to the, to the history of the musical. Lots of Gilbert and Sullivan, uh, some song time. Yes, and absolutely, love. Learner and Love, and, uh, and some No Coward, um, even some Frederick Chopin, I think. How do you turn on a dime? I, 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 I'm assuming um, that you well, have to turn on a dime. I do have to turn on a dime and get into the next costume. But I think that's the, the, the thrill and fun of it for me. It does uh, demand pretty quick reflexes. Although early on in the process, well, I, I would literally not be sure who I was playing next. So my dresser, <laughs> uh, who's my scene partner, practically, whispers in my ear, now you're Lady Eisen, go! <laughs> and uh, pushes me out on stage. All choreographed, on stage. I'm sure, backstage. Yes, it's become quite a ballet. I hope somebody films it sometime because I think the costume changes are things of great beauty. Thank you, Jefferson, thank for joining you. us. Thank you, Frank. Thanks, sure. And thank you. That's it for this edition of Play by Play. Meanwhile, you can follow me at artinfo.com. Thank you.